Welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you how to do Windows installation, especially Windows 10 installation. Remember to subscribe, like and share. Turn on your notification bell to get updates of new videos. First, even before I proceed, you need to be having the installation file installed either in a flash drive, either that's a USB or a disk drive, uh, so that you can use the drive to boot the software from the bootable device to the PC where it will be running as the operating system. Having loaded my operating system in my USB drive, I'll press the power button to turn on my PC, press function 9, that is F9, then my PC will load the operating system from my drive. It will bring me a blue screen indicating me this is the Windows setup where it has the language to install depending on the language that you are using. Uh, for my case, I'm using the English as the default language, so I will just click next. It will take me to the installation stage where uh, my PC had already was not installed with any operating system, so I will click install. If you had installed your Windows and maybe it happened to have issues, there is an option of repair your computer. So for this particular case, uh, my PC doesn't have any operating system. Then I'll give it some few seconds for the setup to start. The initial stage of the installation, it usually asks you for the activation key, which is a 25-digit code that usually comes with the Windows installation. For my case, I don't have the product key, so it will ask me, do you have the product? So for this particular case, I don't have. If you don't have the product key, the next option will not be active. So I will press I don't have the product key so that to proceed with the installation. The Windows 10 comes uh, with uh, different versions. So there is Windows 10 Home, Windows 10 Home N, Windows 10 Home Single Language, Windows 10 Education, Windows 10 Education N Pro, and Windows 10 Pro N. So for this, I will, I will be installing Windows 10 Pro for my PC with a 64-bit. Then I will click Next. Then uh, you read the last update of the installation file. It was last updated in June 2021. So I'll read through the terms and conditions to accept the license terms. Then I'll check in the box. Then you scroll down to see the licenses and what have you. When you go to the installation stage, there's two steps. There's two options. Either you are upgrading. Maybe you are using a Windows 7 or a Windows 8.1. Maybe you want to upgrade to the Windows 10. You can, it has that option for upgrade. For, for, uh, for this case, I'll go for the custom because it's a new newly installation. It will take you, you to the storage device that you want to install your operating system. For my PC, I had, I had partitioned in several portions. The drives, I had partitioned them in several portions so, so that the windows can be installed in my PC. I'll have to delete the partitioning so that to be left with the solid volumes of the disk that are installed in my PC. So the the disk drive partition that will, it's uh, has a it's the primary. It's where you need to install your operating system. So uh, I'll have already first formatted the drive so that to have clear the the cache and the data that was stored there. I need my PC to be newly launched whenever I'm finishing out the installation. Clicking the primary uh, the primary disk, the next option is not active. So I'll have to format. That's okay. Then all the other partitioning that I had partitioned, I'll have to, to delete them. So I'll delete each so that will solidify my storage. So having deleted the partitioning, now I'm left with the two volumes. That's the... The, the primary disk that is uh, allocating with 149 GB and the secondary disk that is the 2 terabyte GB but the, it has a, an, a free space that is unallocated. So having that done, uh, the next option is active. So I'll click next. I'll wait for installation steps. To complete to a hundred percent up to the last stage where it will give me the finishing up option 
you go checking down it's going to give you a green tick as it goes down then after they finish up then the, your pc will ask for restart so that it can do the configuration from the bootable drive to your now to your pc you give it a few seconds and guys remember to subscribe like and share you can give us a comment to tell us what to cover what you the challenges that you are going through and we'll help sort you out well, i'll give it time uh, installation of the windows the approximately take to depending on the speed of your of your pc it probably take to five to ten minutes at most but for some pc are a bit faster so now we are in i'll choose the location the region that uh, i'm starting from let's see i'll choose uh, my location right the keyboard layout the keyboard layout matters with the english that version that you are using depending on the western english and the local english that you use then uh, do you want to add a secondary keyboard layout no i'll skip that one then it will give you some few seconds if you want to do the installation as the ethernet cable is connected you can have that option you connect your pc so that it can help you take the updates of the last update uh, operating system that you are installing to the new update so uh, for this particular case i'll skip i'll skip the installation i'll continue with the limited setups so you rename your pc accordingly so let's give my pc a title i'll type its title then i'll click next for windows 10 it always have the security setups option so you have to put your username and your password that you'll be using to access your your pc then i'll click next you have to confirm the password that you have indicated in the first stage and the second one that are matching yeah, to give the hint of your password that you had indicated it will ask you for a security question that you'll be using in in case that you forget your password so you have to key in your security question it needs to be the question so make sure you put the question appropriately then the setup is almost done now you click to the terms and condition that you'll be getting from the microsoft so you, you can accept you can read through the the privacy and the settings that the microsoft are offering then you can check the the one that is not suiting you or it's not favorable to you so for my case i'll leave them as they are indicated on yes then i'll click accept then there are a few steps that you need to go now I'll give it the time the os is ready and it's getting ready for me uh, this might take a few minutes so make sure you do not turn off your pc make sure it's on and give it time to finish up the installation after giving it giving my pc a few minutes the pc is ready and uh, it has already set up my desktop as you can see it has the most basic uh, icons on my desk i can confirm then go through to my pc checking my partitioning is okay then my disk are set are healthy and my installation is ready to use on my pc guys i hope the video was educative and it's of value give us a comment on what to cover like and share and remember to subscribe i'll see you in our next video thank you